So when you get your pole wraps, they're going to come in and they're going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit flattened and not in the greatest shape because you flatten them down to the pack. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fluff them up a bit. So as you're pulling them out of the box and getting them set up, you're just going to make sure that there's no flat spots and all the branches are sticking out in individual directions, whereas they're not kinked or anything like that. I'm just doing it quickly here just to kind of show you guys, but um, you're going to want to take a little bit more time to do it than I'm doing here. Because you can see kind of where the difference is down as up here where I've got it all fluffed out versus down here where it's a little kinked and flat. So when you're installing the pole wrap, uh, the easiest way is going to be to do this with two people, one who's up on the ladder and one who's on the ground. So each of your pole wraps has ties like this that are on the top and the bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to bring this up to the top of the pole. You're going to take the two ties. And you're going to wrap them around the pole as tightly as you can. Now you can do this by hand, or some people like to use a pair of pliers to get maximum tension on it. It all kind of depends on your preference. So as you can see, it can slide a little bit. So the tighter you can tension this, uh, the better. You can also use a zip tie uh, to hold it in place as well um, if you feel it needs a little bit more um, a little bit more tension. And the second guy, after you do that, is going to be coming along the bottom and twisting the garland around the pole. Now, the garland I'm using here is a little bit long and this pole is a little bit short. This is just a sample that we have in our warehouse. But you are going to want to just bring it around the pole and you're going to want to be conscious that the spaces in between everything are even. So, but now that you have it on the pole, so you want, so you have these spaces here, you want it to be even all the way top and bottom. So, once you get it on the pole too, you're going to want to do some additional fluffing. Because some of it on the back of the pole will, um, will flatten down, and you want this to be as realistic as looking as possible and as full as possible. So taking an extra five to 10 minutes to fluff it up as you're doing this is gonna make all the difference. So as you wrap it around, keep fluffing. Also make sure, we don't have lights in this one, but make sure the lights are even um, as, as well. So next, after you have that all set, what I do is you're gonna get your bow your bow is going to come in a box, and come in a bag, so you're going to take it out of the bag. And you're also going to notice that it's flat. So as you can see, it's all, it's compressed for shipping. So, what you're going to want to do is stretch your tails down, and then on the back is going to be some wires. And with the wires, these are just going to fold out like this, and just like at the top of the pull wrap, you're going to wrap these around. So if you just pull them out ahead of time, it's going to save you a little bit of time up on the pole. But the most important thing is to take the loops of the bow and pull them out and push them in a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a more three-dimensional bow and there's wire in there so they're going to, they're going to kind of keep that shape. It's even, tails are down here, so you get obviously a better looking bow. Some people also like to give the tails a little bit of shape, fold them up. You can do that if you want. Um, that's all personal preference. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ladder. Normally when you do this, you're not going to be moving it on your own. It's going to be right there. But you are going to attach this to the pole. Now these are going to also hide some of the other wires, as you can see some wires sticking out here. So what you're going to do is bring the wires around the back, 
and you're just going to want to tighten them up. You don't have to have them as tight as you do on the pole wrap, but you want to make sure that they're snug, and you also want to make sure that the bow is straight and that the tails are straight and everything's even, they're still puffed out. Again, taking an extra minute or two is going to make all the difference in look with the pole wrap. And then just make sure that all of your wires are hidden and kind of tuck back into kind of the garland. Um, you can also clip these if they're a little bit too long. You can just use a pair of snippers and, and trim them down. Just be careful to make sure you leave enough room for putting them back up next year that they're not too tight. That's it.